Hey everyone, this is Rock. I'm going to do a tutorial today on the solar panel. Um, as you know, last episode we used the industrial centrifuge and we spun some redstone and some empty cells. We got pyrite dust, ruby dust, dry dust, and silicon cells. The silicon cells are the ones you need for this. That's why I showed that machine first and that was the first recipe we used on it. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to Put it in our little setup over here. Got a few different things we're gonna make today, actually, and one of which is the solar panel. So here we go. So you put the silicon cells on each side of the middle with a carbon plate in the center, a generator on the bottom, and three glass panes on top. Not pieces of glass, glass panes. To make the glass panes, you put the six pieces of glass in a on the bottom row, and you make these. You get sixteen. So you should know. Um, on the recipe, it says that you can use these tubes, receiver circuits, um, medium circuits, iron AND gates, redstone, all these different things, even electrical circuits. But, um, I want to show you how to make iron tubes so I can show you another machine. So, the other machine is called the Thermionic Fabricator. It's a pretty cool machine. It makes those tubes with, uh, generally a lot less materials than uh, an electrical circuit requires um, so we're gonna make one of those and we're gonna make up some uh, tubes I'm gonna need an engine for that and I don't have another one laying around so we're gonna take this one. Oh, just so you know there's so much stuff it's found and it's been I don't know half hour so it does a good job it's already at level like 25 all right, to make those iron tubes that I'm talking about that go in here, you, use the, you need this machine, it's called the Thermionic Fabricator. To make it, you put the gold on all the corners, glass right here, and a chest on the bottom. But in the center, you need something called a sturdy casing. A sturdy casing's right here. Um, this is pretty much uh, a machine block made with bronze. So you put bronze in the circle around your crafting table, and you get this, uh, this sturdy casing, which uh, is, in my opinion, just a uh, a machine block with different material. Kind of looks like a, like a mine car with a chest in it, in my opinion. So you take that, you take all these pieces, and you put them in here. Sorry, my inventory is a little full. I have been running around a lot, doing a lot of stuff, and I haven't had time to clean it up. Put that in like that, and get this thing. It's a thermionic fabricator. And now, what you do with this thing is it runs on like the rolling machine. You need to have an engine hooked up to it. Uh, so we're gonna go put it on that floor with the other engine. And we'll hook it up and I'll show you how it works. So let's go up here. I'll set it down right next to it. Got my Sterling engine. And I got my lever. Put the coal coke in it, power it up. Now it's going to start powering. All right, so how this machine works is it makes these glass tubes out of um, different materials. One of the things you need, though, is glass to make the tube. You melt the glass down. So you come over here, you put glass here, and you get this little bar. You can't make anything until the power level gets past it. So this thing has to keep pumping. It's going to take a while. And, um, has to pass this bar. So how to make these is like this. You can make copper, tin, diamond, uh, gold, iron, and bronze. And it's pretty simple. You just go in here, you put the glass in, it turns it into liquid glass, and you put um, three iron on the bottom, and then two in the middle on top, and then two pieces of redstone. And that's the same recipe for all of them, just with different materials. So it's pretty simple, and you, know, you get these these uh, tubes. So let's go ahead, and I have no iron or redstone. Grab some iron. Grab five. And grab two redstone. Guess we can clean this out a little bit too. These done. Yeah, I'm doing some smelting lately. Got a lot of extra materials. I want to get them all smelted down. Alright, throw this out, throw that out. 
That's better. Right, let's go back up here. Now you don't have to do it like this. You don't need to make this machine. This is gonna take forever with this machine. Um, let me see if I have an electrical engine laying around. All right, so it was taking forever with the Sterling engine. It'll work, it'll just take a really long time. And as you can see with the electrical, I've already gotten to that point and it already melted down the glass. So you put the glass, you get the glass over here and melt it down in the liquid glass. And so once you get that, you can put your materials in. You can even keep them here like that. And then just put the recipe up here and have them down here and just keep clicking. It's like a chest that holds a lot of materials. So you could put like diamond and all that stuff down here and then make the ones you need. So you just click. You get four of them for five pieces of iron and two pieces of redstone. I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, so I might have to set up. I'll move that over there. Sorry. And um, I'll put the the engine behind it. I don't like how that looks. So we got the tubes like we wanted. Just so I could show off that machine. Um, you can make a couple different things with it. The only reason I ever make it is for these tubes. It's just it's how I make solar panels. It's cheap. It's a lot cheaper than going out and making all those electrical circuits using all the copper, the rubber, and uh, so and you only get one. So, so here we go. Go in here, grab our materials. Put them in here. The silicon cells go in the center with the carbon plate. Iron tubes on the bottom. Let's see, you have two left over. You can make another mission, another solar panel. And just like that. There you go, you get your first solar panel. Um, I don't want to set this up and show it off. Let's go grab some stuff. And I'll just show you how it works. Alright, so here we are. Right near our quarries, the backyard of the lighthouse. And I'm just going to show you how this works out in the middle of nowhere. So, um, we'll just set it down. And it's always going to configure itself to point up towards the sun. Always. And then I'll just put a bat box down. And as you remember, this is the output. All the others are inputs. That's how you get power to it. So then we'll run a cable over. And you can see it's already starting to charge. It's a renewable source of energy. It will always make energy. So that's pretty nice. Um, it produces one EU per tick. So that's eight EU, EU per second when the sun's out. If it rains, snows, it's dark, it produces no EU. So right now it's producing it's a, it's building up pretty quick quicker than any other source of power I've shown um, and if you build out a good amount of these like if you had 16 you know you're gonna get a lot of power so they're a pretty simple machine that's as simple as it gets um, I don't want to get into advanced solar panels yet because right now if you're playing you don't you don't need them if you're following along and building as I build uh, so this is fine uh, that's that's it for solar panels but um I kind of want to go and because this is the beta version, that's the beta way to make the solar panel. I'm just going to go into the direwolf and the minecrack and just show you the recipe. Um, just so you know what it looks like, you know how to make it and all that. So I'll be back and I will just pop into minecrack and then I'll pop into direwolf. And I'll just show you how to build one real quick. I don't actually play either of those too much. Direwolf every so often so I don't have any real worlds that I can even make them yet. But um... I'll be right back. Alright everyone, here I am in the Minecraft version. I don't have an actual game here, so I'm just out in the world roaming. That's where I spawned on this big mountain right here. It's actually kind of cool. There's like a, it's like a mountain jungle. It's pretty sweet. And over here is one of the, like a, it's called, I think it's called the Savannah. Yep. So that's kind of a cool little spot I spawned in. But anyway, uh, this is how you make the solar panel uh, it's pretty similar the iron tubes on the bottom the generator the carbon plate and this uh, glass panes the only difference is the silicon plate which you need to put uh, silicon cells into an industrial blast furnace to get a silicon plate and to get these you need to use a, a centrifuge the same way but instead of getting 27 you put redstone in you get three um, you put sand in an electrolyzer and get one uh, clay dust so I mean, there's a there's a couple different ways to do it. You can put liquid silicon into a liquid transposer. 
So there's a, there's a couple different ways. It's kind of a pain in the ass uh, compared to the beta version, but that's how you do it in this version. Um, that's all I'm really going to get into over here. Uh, the only difference are these plates. So now we will pop into the Dire Wolf version. See you soon. All right. And now we are in the Dire Wolf version. Dire Wolf version I do play every so often. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing a little mining. I have a little stuff. He's kind of loud. Turn down. Sounds about the set. So I'll let me show you this real quick. It's just it's a, the Dire Wolf is, is the easiest version to play in. Uh, so let me just show you the recipe. It's it's all it's different. Um, instead of needing anything powerful, you need four pieces, three pieces of coal dust, three pieces of regular glass, two electron electron electronic circuits. I'm sorry, and a generator. So this is the definitely by far the easiest recipe. And they actually are all pretty easy to make any of these. So uh, that's that. And so pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, just the glass, the coal dust, and the electrical circuits. So it's it's definitely the cheapest of the three. As you can see, no silicon needed. Uh, they're all things you can get pretty pretty quickly in the game. Um, but that's it. That's my tutorial on solar panels. I hope it was helpful. I just I showed you the recipe. I showed you how to get the power to the bat box. I, like right now, if it was dark out, um, you'd be getting no power to your bat boxes. Um, I hope I was helpful, and if I was, I would appreciate a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Every so often I get one or two. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a good week, and you guys take care.